Hello, welcome back to GameSpot's continuing coverage of E3 2015. Live from the LA Convention Center right here in beautiful Los Angeles, California. I'm Daniel Dwyer, joined by Roland, my friend from Avalanche. Great job on the giant bomb uh, stage last night. You <laughs> you held your own in a in a murderous row of crazy people. It was it was definitely a lot of crazy people there, but uh, it was uh, a lot of fun. You guys are real busy over at Avalanche. Before we went live, we were talking about uh, the Mad Max stuff, which is coming out yeah, uh, awesome. and then real soon, actually. Real soon. Uh, but you're on the real crazy project, Just Cause 3. Rico Rodriguez is back. He is back, and it is a beautiful, explosive, weird, creative sandbox. Uh, we've only got you here for 15 minutes or so. I believe there's some sort of crazy trailer, interactive trailer madness we're going to kick off. Yeah. Uh, so let's get into it now so we can have it playing while we're chatting. All right, I like it. So the idea here is we're just going to jump straight into Medici. This is a 400 square mile world. It is absolutely enormous, and like all the Just Cause games, you can go anywhere. So the beach over there, the mountains in the distance, that base all the way far in the distance you yeah. see right there. We're actually going to go check that out a little bit later uh, as we go diving through all this. But of course the parachute is back. Yeah. It is infinite as it always has been. Uh, you guys it, have stay, stay true to the grapple and parachute combination it, of it Just Cause 2. It is definitely there and there's a little bit of uh, story now why you have infinite grapple, uh, infinite parachutes. It sucks back in this time. So there's oh, really? a couple <laughs> frames of animation there. Okay, have you figured, you guys are also doing <laughs> infinite C4 though. Yeah, there, there's a lot of C4. Well, I mean, the idea of like having an explosion always at your fingertips, you don't want to go looking for it. So we decided we'll just give you a whole bunch of it, and you can plant it anywhere. It's yeah. like a planted explosive. But because of it, you actually have to land somewhere and plant it. So there's a little bit of... Okay. I, I wouldn't call it strategy. You know, that's... It's not really that sort of subtle kind yeah. of game. But, but it's not like you're just flailing grenades everywhere. Like right, exactly. Right. And it so means that you don't have to put explosive barrels in literally every corner of the game. There, there might be explosive okay. barrels in literally every corner of the game. That's, uh, let's, that's possible. let's talk about the setting, because obviously the, the, the Caribbean is the, the setting of, the, of, of what we think about with Just Cause. Uh, this is in the Mediterranean, though, right? We are in the Mediterranean now, so it's a Mediterranean-inspired world. Like mm. Pinal, which was kind of a fictionalized island, yes. we did the same thing with Medici. So it's not quite Ibiza. It's not quite Ibiza, <laughs> but there is a lot of inspiration south of France, Greece, Excellent. Italy. I mean, it's, it's been a ton of fun building the world. So here we go. We're going to look at a little bit of destruction here. All right. Uh, you can make a choice. So we're looking at the statue, which was one of the iconic pieces of propaganda. Yes. But we've done a relationship now with Havoc, which means that we've done all sorts of Havoc destruction. So Great. the statue will destroy different ways every time. Mm. And you can choose any way you feel like destroying the statue. Okay. Um, stop hitting yourself. All right. I like that one. It's been a bit favorite for the team. Well, <laughs> and to be honest, I think a lot of people online have been liking this one. So, yeah, let's do it. So good. let's I'm pick uh, number two here. The Farmer's Revenge look good. As an Irishman, I can appreciate that. It's good. It's a tractor with nitrous on it. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so Rico grapples up here. We wanted to make it really seamless moving around the world, and we'll look a little bit more at that in a second. And here you'll see the multiple tethers. So instead of having one tether, you can now do multiple tethers in the oh, world. Uh, we're planning somewhere between five and six. Right now we have six, but everything's about tuning in the end. And it's ridiculous. Huge chains of destruction because of it. And now you can actually control the tether. <laughs> and of course, it destroys <laughs> in awesome ways. And the one thing that we won't destroy, though, we won't destroy the head. So okay. you can grapple it around and use it as a wrecking ball. Great. Why not? Uh, how many grapples can you do? So right now we're, we're planning kind of up to six, oh, oh my but God. we're still tuning it to figure out what feels best because yes. sometimes it starts getting just madness. Yeah, presumably that's like in terms of, uh, I'm, I don't pretend to be a programmer, but there's a lot of physics shit happening there with six it's grapples. It's a lot of physics. I yeah. mean, there are times where we're simulating over four million objects at the same time. Oh my goodness. That's why it's a next gen only game. <laughs> so you're able to um, uh, stick grapples to two different things and then basically retract them? Yeah, you can control the retract strength yourself. And that's on the left trigger all the time. And it just means that you fully control everything. And of course, we like explosions. Man, So sure that's the do. new gas station explosion. <laughs> Part of it was like, well, we need to go bigger, right? And then we just kept going bigger. We would break the build. <laughs> well, you know, the populace doesn't love massive explosions I as much as Rico does. I think that's my favorite thing in Just Goes uh, 1 and 2 is shooting someone's car and then like grappling onto it and just being like, it's like a bucking Bronco style situation. So this is a new wingsuit. Excellent. So after stabilizing the parachute, making it a real combat platform, mm. you know, really fun and easy to shoot from, we needed another great traversal. So oh wingsuit man. feels amazing. It's really good. Combine that with the grapple, that you get to do the sorts of soaring what? through the world that is 
absolutely insane. It's like and it Spider feels Man. amazing. Yeah. And what, what I really actually I've noticed uh, here is the I love how almost how big Rico is, and also the depth of field you're working with with him like sitting so far in or so in the foreground. Yeah, uh, we really we played a lot with where our cameras are, how it moves. We wanted to give this like that giant open field, the enormous vistas that you're used to. Yeah. But with all that fidelity of next gen, like we have destruction even on our vegetation, we'll see a little bit later. You know, this kind of idea of being in this just epically beautiful place mm. and then blowing the hell out of it. <laughs> uh, one of the most interesting things that came out of Just Cause 2, especially on the PC, was that the modding community really grabbed it. And the, that sort of, what was it, a hundred person uh, multiplayer? Actually, you know what? Let's do the, let's the do next our one. next choice first. So here we're at like a port base. So this is kind of water base. We've done a whole new physicalized water system inside. So all these boats will come in. But right now we have these giant spherical fuel tanks okay. that we can blow up in pretty much any way you want. It says a lot that I, I like, I like the look of the bowling ball because of the physics, but I kind of want to see a jet. See so a jet. Let's, let's do the jet. The jet's yeah. hilarious. Okay, all right. Was so the bowling ball just like roll through? The bowling ball, we use our dual tethering because every single chaos object now actually is physicalized itself. Yeah. There's no health meter on it. So you can rip it and the constraints rip oh, off awesome. and you can actually use it like a bowling ball and smash other things with it. Or you can use a jet. Or you can get on a jet and stunt straight out of it in the parachute <laughs> and use it like a giant bullet <laughs> and just blow the hell out of the world. That spherical fuel tank explosion, I sat there with the guys being like, can, can you do something bigger? Mm. How, how about bigger than that? Bigger than that. Come on, bigger. <laughs> I, I, they must have gotten sick of me. I think the VFX <laughs> guys are like, stop, stop. All right, here it is. Yeah. It's as big as humanly possible. I like it. Uh, we talked a little bit, the, or I started talking about the mods. Um, two questions about that, actually. One, uh, multiplayer, what are you guys doing with that? Is it going to be the same sc scale as what they did in the modding community? No, we, we really wanted to concentrate on the single player experience. And the thing that really hit on Just Cause 2, and I know the multiplayer thing, people really love the idea of being out there, but we wanted to get the experience of sharing your videos. People do crazy things themselves, so they want to set up nine different things all together and be able to do awesome stuff, and then share that stuff online. And we did a thing on JC2 with the PS3. Oh yeah, the vehicles are all new. <laughs> Destruction to the field. Just take out sunflowers, I like it. it yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, but we yeah, wanted so to get the, the modding feel more than anything else, which is a game that's your sandbox, do what you want. So we have tons of online features that are always tracking what you're doing, so longest time wingsuiting, how fast you can kill five people with an explosion, cool. you know, all that stuff, and you can challenge your friends on it. And that kind of interactivity is there, but who's to say what's going to happen in the future? Awesome. Um, uh, let's uh, let's pick the next one. I'm so gonna here go we're going to talk about a bridge. So we didn't just do destruction with chaos objects. We did it in the world itself. So even our enormous bridges, you can take down, but they'll like come back, so you can do it over and over again. Right, I'm gonna let you pick this one because you know which one is, which, which uh, one's to take your fancy. The hydro missile's awesome because you're in a in parachute shooting a shotgun style RPG. Okay. But I kind of like chop chop. I don't All think right. we've really seen that as much. It's our new helicopter, and it like just wreaks havoc. It has both mini guns and missiles on it. Excellent. Kind of awesome. All right, let's check out uh, so uh, number two. Chop chop. I think that's. The ride the waves looks good as well, but uh, that's a pretty good way of breaking into a helicopter. Just shoot the door open. Yeah, we took away the interactions right there, and it, there's still a little bit of gameplay because you have to be careful getting into a militarized vehicle. Yeah. There's a little bit of a pause, and you can still get shot on it, but it's quick and it's violent because Rico uses explosions mm. to open a door. Oh, man. <laughs> Bad yeah. news. That's like just like what happens whenever I play like bridge construction <laughs> simulator. Um, are you guys got a poor dude on the motorbike? <laughs> he did. He didn't oh. see it in time and kept driving. He should have seen that coming. It was like he a should, military helicopter. He was like, if Rico is here, I shouldn't go yeah. anywhere that could be destroyed. GTFO. <laughs> uh, are you gonna guys do anything with like people being able to like share clips? Uh, obviously, on the next gen consoles, that's a big I mean, thing. Next gen consoles are already there, yeah. and they have a button that literally does it for you. And they're recording already, so it was all inbuilt. In fact, when we first sat down with Sony and Microsoft, saying, "Oh, okay, we want to do this new game," they're like, "Oh, here's our new console." Yeah. We're like, oh, it's oh, just you've a done perfect marriage. Thank you. So uh, I, I think it's going to be awesome. I mean, already some of the like YouTubers out there and the Twitch streams that we've done, the mm. fans have been amazing about it, and we're getting it in the hands of YouTubers now to start playing with the build and messing Excellent. around and. And then, but, but here's a new stunt thing, so you're no longer fixed anywhere. <laughs> so you can just walk around wherever what? you want, backflip off of that, use it as an explosion. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. And we're going to go now from a plane 
uh, over to a, a motorcycle. Motorbike, awesome. We're gonna head up to that base we looked at earlier that was off in the distance. This base is really more about a highly vertical. You can do combat from motorcycles. Enemies can ride motorcycles and fight you on it. Oh they can lean out of windows and shoot you. All of our vehicles are now hinged parts and uh, deformations. We have this awesome new vehicle system. We redid the vehicles from scratch. That's so awesome. they're weighty, you can drift them, you can after touch them in the air. We've done mods against it. So mm. any vehicle that you collect in the world, you can then like add nitrous or our like Knight Rider inspired turbo jump. Great. Which basically means any vehicle you can just jump. Which imagine like a tractor, you can just <laughs> nitrous around and jump Great. it. Yep, so this is our next one. Just like my dad used to. <laughs> What we got where, here? Where, uh, where do you want to go? We're gonna enter this base in a, a madman style. I, I like I like a tank. Let's go with uh, overkill. Right. Is is underrated? <laughs> um, just a uh, last question on the modding front, just because I'm a, I'm a massive modder myself sure. as well, uh, or a, a user of mods rather. Um, obviously, the PC crowd are probably gonna go and do crazy stuff, make their big I multiplayer so. stuff. Um, we saw with the the Fallout guys that they're actually Microsoft's allowing them to bring that stuff over onto the consoles. If there was ever that stuff being made on PC. Do you guys have any pipeline for getting that onto the Xbox One? Uh, we've been wanting to do quite a lot of that stuff for a while. We're not announcing anything there yet, but you know, a lot of the devs that work on the game and a lot of us in general who work in games came out of the modding community. Yeah, we came out of yeah. messing with games. And uh, you know, we would want to support that as much as possible. And it's such a it's such a nice thing. I mean, JC2, so many mods on it, mm. that's that's the greatest thing in the world, is to have someone mod your game. It means yeah. they love it. That's their personal time. Yeah. You know, they they want to spend their personal time, so we're going to do everything we can to make sure it's easy to mess around with the game as much as possible. Uh, another cool thing, I remember when the, the guys at GameSpot went to play uh, this at Judges Week, uh, the, you guys turned on the, the dev tools to allow them to sort of do whatever they want. I was actually playing the first Crackdown last week, and I remember that they had this uh, Keys to the City mode, which basically allowed you, it turned off achievements and all that stuff, but it allowed you to like spawn weapons, spawn and stuff, put on God mode. Like, do you guys ever think you could you just let that stuff happen in the game? Just kind of like, hey, you know what, maybe somebody just wants to blow up some crap. You know, maybe, <laughs> I, I, it looks like you guys are kind of kind of already servicing that, but <laughs> there's um, a lot of that. Do you, have any, uh, do you have any like uh, plans to allow some sort of uh, like a dev tool mode in the game? We, we've talked about it a lot, and actually a lot of our design is inspired in that way anyways. Mm. So we've actually been sitting there, and even our Rebel Drop systems, our ability to get you know, a vehicle, any weapon that you want, you actually drop them all at the same time, and there's no cutscene, yeah. and it just like shows up in a box on the ground. <laughs> you're like, I want a jet right now and an RPG, and you're yeah. like, boom, right there. So you kind of already built it into the gameplay. Yeah, right? and we kind of add a little bit of the story around like how that mm. works, but... Uh, yeah, we wanted to put it in there, but you know, we, we've been talking a lot about supporting this game for a long time to come. Yeah. Square Enix is an amazing partner in that. They want this game to live on. They see four or 500,000 people still playing JC2. Wow. So they're saying, you know, this game That's lived five years for ago. five years. Yeah. So they're like, we're going to support this game for a long time, which is great news for devs because we love making this game. Awesome, Roland. Thank you so much for your time yeah, uh, today. Uh, very much looking forward to, to playing, with, playing with Rico Rodriguez. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not? Uh, thanks very much. And best of luck finishing out the game. I appreciate uh, it. We're going to be here on the E3 show floor all day long. All day long. If you're watching this in the U.S., hey, how you doing? Good morning, good afternoon. If you're watching this in Europe, don't go to sleep. We've got so much stuff happening today. Uh, I, I got Lou Stoddard on for Skylanders Supercharged. I literally I've talked to Lou Stoddard three years in a row on the E3 stage. <laughs> um, we got Riggs on, we got FIFA and Madden. Uh, and then later on today, I'll be back on uh, with Sean Murray from No Man's Sky. Uh, stick around. Uh, next up, Lou Stoddard with uh, Skylanders Supercharged. Stay there. <laughs>